Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo ang changing fraction to percent and percent to fraction. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So sa pag-change ng fraction to percent or percent to fraction, dapat alam na natin yung pag-change ng fraction to decimal or vice versa, as well as pag-change ng decimal to percent or vice versa. Kasi gagamitin natin yun para makonvert yung fraction to percent or vice versa nga. Kasi para makonvert yung fraction to percent, kailangan muna natin i-convert yung fraction sa decimal. And then that converted decimal, i-convert naman natin sa percent. And then kung other way around, kung percent to fraction, i-convert muna natin yung percent sa decimal. And then that decimal to fraction. So I have a separate videos na about Changing fraction to decimal and vice versa as well as changing decimal to percent or vice versa. So, kung hindi nyo pa yung natin-check, ay link ko na lang para mapanood nyo. So, para ma-illustrate nga yung sinabi ko, ay let's solve some examples. So, we have change 1 fourth to percent. So, sabi ko nga, i-convert muna natin yung fraction sa decimal. And then, pag na-convert na natin sa decimal, convert naman natin sa percent. So, to convert 1 fourth to decimal, we will just divide the numerator by the denominator. So, we have 1 divided by 4. Then, put decimal sa dulo. So, we have 1 divided by 4 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. And then, 1 minus 0 is 1. So, since may 1 pa tayong remainder, mag-add tayo ng 0 dito and then bring it down. So, 10 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Then subtract 10 minus 8 is 2. So, meron pa tayong remainder na 2. So, magbibig doon pa tayo ulit ng 0. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. So, 20 minus 20 is 0. So, therefore, stop na tayo kasi 0 na yung remainder. So, therefore, ang uh, decimal natin for 1 fourth is 0 0.25. And then, Lastly, para maging percent siya, uh, ay i-move lang natin yung decimal point niya from left to right ng two decimal places. So, we have 1, 2. So, therefore, it is equal to 25% as what we've learned from the previous videos. Okay, let's solve another example. Change 5 eighths to percent. So, again, change muna natin yung 5 eighths sa decimal. So, Divide natin yung numerator sa denominator. So, 5 divided by 8, put decimal point sa dulo. So, 5 divided by 8 is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. Then, bring down 0. 50 divided by 8 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract. 50 minus 48 is 2. Then, bring down 0 again. So, we have 20 divided by 8 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 20 minus 16 is 4. So, bring down pa ng 0. So, we have 40 divided by 8 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. So, therefore, 0. Stop na tayo kasi 0 na yung remainder. So, therefore, ang decimal for 5 eighths ay 0 0.625. And then, to convert this to percent, move lang natin yung decimal point ng two decimal places from left to right. So, we have 1, 2. So, therefore, we have 62.5. And then, put the percent sign sa dulo. So, therefore, our final answer is 62.5%. Okay, let's proceed sa next example. So, this time, change 1 and 2 fifths to percent. So, since meron tayong uh, mixed number, Convert muna natin siya sa improper fraction. So, we have 1 times 5 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So, we have 7 over 5. Then, convert natin itong 7 over 5 sa decimal. So, 7 divided by 5. Okay, let's put decimal points sa dulo. Then, let's divide na. 7 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. So, we have 7 minus 5 is 2. Then, bring down 0. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 
4 times 5 is 20. So, 20 minus 20 is 0. So, 0 thing remainder. So, stop na tayo. So, therefore, we have 1.4 as the decimal form. Ngayon, para makonvert siya sa percent, move lang natin yung decimal point ng 2 decimal places pa. Punta sa kanan. So, we have 1, 2. Okay, so since meron tayong puwang dito, lalagyan lang natin siya ng 0. So, we have 140, then put percent sign sa dulo. So, therefore, 1 and 2 fifths is equal to 140 percent. Okay, let's proceed sa next example. So, change 12 percent to fraction. So, this time, uh, changing percent to fraction na tayo. So, sabi ko nga, Bago natin ma-change yung percent sa fraction, change muna natin yung percent sa decimal. So, we have 12%. And then, para ma-change nga yung percent sa decimal, move lang natin yung decimal point from right to left ng two decimal places. So, since uh, nandito yung decimal point ng percent, move natin siya sa, sa kaliwa ng dalawang decimal places. So, we have this. So, therefore, 12% is equal to 0 0.12 as the decimal. So, wala na yung percent symbol. And then, alam natin kapag magkoconvert tayo ng decimal to fraction, may denominator sila na power of 10. Move natin yung decimal point ng 0 0.12 pabalik from left to right hanggang mapunta sa dulo. So, we have 1, 2. So, we have 12. Ito yung magiging numerator natin. Over, so since minub natin yung decimal point ng dalawang decimal places, so meron tayong dalawang zero sa baba, and then automatic yung first number ay 1. So therefore, 0 0.12 is equal to 12 over 100. And then di pa siya naka lowest term, so may GCF pa sila na. Ang GCF ng 12 at 100 ay 4. So, divide pa natin sila both by 4. So, we have 3 over 25. So, therefore, our final answer is 3 over 25. Okay, another example. So, we have change 0.25% to fraction. So, again, convert muna natin yung 0.25% sa decimal. So, move natin yung decimal point ng 2 decimal places pa kaliwa. So, we have 1, 2. So, since meron tayong puwang dito, lagyan natin ng 0. So, therefore, 0.25% is equal to 0 0.0025. And then, move natin pabalik. Papunta namang kanan yung decimal point hanggang mapunta siya sa dulo. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 25 now. Over. So, apat na beses natin minub yung decimal point, right? So, meron din tayong apat na zero sa denominator. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, 1 sa unahan. Okay, so, we have 25 over 10,000. So, convert lang natin siya sa simplest form. So, automatic, ang GCF ay 25. So, therefore, we have 1 over 400. So, that is the final answer. 1 over 400. Okay, let's proceed to the next example. So, change 1.5% to fraction. So, same process. 1.5%. Change natin sa decimal. Move natin yung decimal point from right to left ng 2 decimal places. So, we have 1, 2. Okay, then, then let's put 0 dito. So, therefore, it is equal to 0 0.015. And then, move naman natin, pabalik, papunta naman ng kanan, hanggang mapunta sa dulo yung decimal point. So, we have 1, 2, 3. So, it is equal now to 15. And this will be the numerator, which is 15. Over, ilang decimal place pa rin natin minove, tatlo. So, meron din tayong tatlong zero sa baba. And then, 1, as the first number. So, we have 15 over 1,000. Okay, wala pa siya sa lowest term. So, divide pa natin sa GCF nila. Automatic, ang obvious na GCF ay 5, right? So, divide natin by 5. We have 3 over 200. So, therefore, our final answer is 3 over 200.
So that is how to change fraction to percent or percent to fraction. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.